of water to 
use their senses for hunting. Number 62. Prairie dogs say hello with kisses. Number 63. The smallest poisonous frog is only 10 millimeters in length, and it secretes a toxic poison from its skin as a defense mechanism. One centimeter. 64. A
raise them as their pets. Number 80. The smallest known reptile in the world is the Brochesia micra, which is so small Golden Jelly. 
Zealand and ran away and hid in a cave for seven years. When he was finally found in 2004, he had gone unheard for so long that he had accumulated 60 pounds or 27 kilograms of wool on his body. The equivalent to make 20 suits. That's so sad. By the way, when I said unheard, it's unsheared is what it said. Um, I just can't read, apparently. Number 95. Mike the Headless Chicken was a famous chicken from 1945 that was beheaded by a farmer for his dinner, but continued to live for another 18 full months. He just didn't eat his dinner. Lobsters taste with their feet. The tiny bristles inside a lobster's little pinchers are their equivalent to human taste buds. Number 97. Manhattan ants are an ant species unique to New York City. Biologists found them in a specific 14-block strip of the city. Number 98. All dogs are banned from Antarctica since April 1994. This ban was made because of the concern that dogs might spread diseases to seals. Why were we bringing dogs to Antarctica in the first place? Poor dog. Like, oh, don't do that. Okay, the next facts are about art and artists. Number 99. A Dutch artist discovered a way to create clouds in the middle of a room by carefully balancing humidity, lighting, and temperature. He uses this regularly in his artwork. Number 200, or number 100, sorry. Xylography is the art of engraving on wood. Number 101. The well-known Leonardo da Vinci was a huge lover of animals. In fact, he was a vegetarian and was also known to buy birds from markets only to set them free. Number 102. A Mexican artist created an underwater 
artists create semi-permanent images on walls or other places by removing dirt from a surface. It's known as reverse graffiti or clean tacking. Number 112. There's a Turkish artist named Esref Armagan who is blind yet taught himself to write and paint and has been doing so on his own for the last 35 years. Number 113. In Mexico, artists like painters, sculptors, and graphic artists can pay their taxes by donating pieces of artwork that they create to the government. That's very cool. Sue your child. 
was first used as a substitute for the word you by William Shakespeare in his comedy Love's Labor's Lost around 
is a concrete bridge in Germany that has become famous for
just kidding, like, 